Yeah, Ron, this is Lee up in Washington. Uh, I'm going to shoot a quick video here, and uh, if you like kind of what you see, let me know, and I'll provide some better content. But uh, my wood shop uh, is pretty big. This is exciting. Today launches the first video in a series of smart wood shop tours. Not my smart wood shop. You've seen mine plenty, and you'll see it a lot more. But your smart wood shops. Many of the Smart Woodshop family have sent in videos, and today we launch the first one with Lee's. Lee is back in Washington State, my old stomping grounds, which I'm really homesick for right now. As beautiful as Florida is, I sure do miss home. So Lee takes us on a nice tour of his shop. I think you'll be impressed. He has a lot of space, and I'm envious of it being stuck in this little one car right now. If you'd like to build a smart wood shop for yourself, a smart station, or the heart of it all, the smart bench, or any of the accessories that work with the system, there's a link in the description of this video down below. You can go there, purchase plans, and download them instantaneous, 24-7, 365. I do uh, woodworking and metalworking here for our company. We've got 23 acres of site that I take care of with all sorts of buildings and equipment. And so I've got one bay of this shop dedicated just for me and my work. Uh, at the heart of my wood shop though is definitely your park smart, bench, smart benches. And I've been doing, following you for years now and have had almost every iteration of bench that you've created that I've built and took into job sites and um, now have for about a year now converted completely over to the smart system. So as you can see, I've got your smart uh, station here with my chop saw and I currently have uh, two router tables on it. And as you can see, the shop is messy, which is exactly how a shop should be. Always uh, got projects happening. So this bench has got your shorter support rails. And then I've got the longer set down below for when I'm doing longer work. And it's on wheels, which is really nice in my shop. Because when it's in the way, I just push it aside, which is awesome. The other part that I use uh, probably the most is your actual smart bench. And it's set up here pretty much permanent, even though it's on a cart. Um, most of my work, woodwork happens there because I can use uh, the table for everything that I do. You can see that I've got my rip strips well used go on top when I'm ripping long sheet goods and and whatnot I have uh, your smart cross cut set up hanging on the wall with all my fist tool rails that I keep right here super close to where I'm working I also kind of took your designs and and incorporated it into an overhead uh, work boom so this guy has got uh, a fest tool vac up above, big one, and then a collection canister on the end, and I've got my hose with a remote, one of the fast cap remotes on it, so I can power it up and have my dump collector going. Uh, plus, hard to do this with uh, holding on, but it swings. So anywhere that I'm working and relating to my bench, it swings back and forth so I can have light and my power and I've got air here and my dust collector hose always directly over my workstation. Now I also have, uh, as you can see, a lot of pallet rack shelving to take advantage of the height I've got in my shop. And so what I did adjacent to my main bench here is I took pieces from an older bench the two foot pieces and I flipped them upside down and re-drilled so that 
I've got the MFT spacing and I use those for tool storage as you can see plus I can attach uh, other elements like this, this spindle sander here um, but basically this is how it looks all the time when I'm working I've got tools stacked underneath tools inside and you know how workspaces are uh, magnets for storage so there's a bunch of junk on it that I'm using at all times um, I also have a big grizzly dust collector so that when I run any of my planers or big sanders I pull them over here and hook them up and can go to town Lots of storage. I haven't got around to building the complete wood shop yet in a trailer. That is a dream of mine. Uh, but until then, and most of my work is here on site, I've got boxes like this set up in a similar fashion that you do with, with all my goodies stashed in it. Not as well organized as your smart wood shop, but it's a work in progress. Uh, down to this end, just past my woodworking as I've got my metalworking area, my welder and everything. And I made a, a huge table, uh, a lot like your smart station where it's a flat table with holes in it for the work that I do. Then I have, I have clamps that fit in the top of the bench so that I can clamp down and control my wood or my metalworking projects for when I weld them out. I used your plywood technique to make a big rolling cart for all my clamps and all my epoxies and stuff like that. So a um, lot goes on here every day and uh, I love the system been using it for years really like the new system and would like to show you more if you're if you're interested so uh you can get back to me and we'll chat more thanks if you enjoyed lee's smart woodshop tour then make sure you give this video a thumbs up and also there's at least seven more to come and i hope more than that if you don't want to miss one be sure to subscribe and ring the bell because that's the only way youtube will let you know when we put up a new video. If you'd like to have your smart wood shop featured here, then grab your smartphone, turn it horizontal, shoot it in 4K if possible, relax, enjoy yourself, and tell us about your shop. Let us see your face. There'll be a link in the video down below where you can just drop box it to that email address, and then I will take it. Don't worry about editing it or cutting it up. I'll get all the good parts out and put it together. If you like what we do here at the Smart Wood Shop and you want to support our efforts so we can keep making these videos, then there's a couple of ways you can do it. Obviously by commenting and subscribing, but also sharing the channel with others so we can grow our subscriber base. That helps a lot. And then you can also use, uh, go to our website, to Ron's store, I have tools there that I curate. They're all tools that I personally use and materials that I use. If you purchase those with that affiliate link, they'll share a little bit with us. But again, they don't charge you any extra. And there's also the thanks button down below that YouTube has recently introduced. You just click on that and you'll know what to do. Thanks for hanging out with me here at the Smart Wood Shop. You stay safe and have a great day.